Hey guys, welcome back. So I just want to talk to you guys about Hive and their uh, news report yesterday that they are obviously uh, at the market offering. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys my insight into this as far as what I think is going on here. Um, this isn't something new, obviously, but I just wanted to go over it. Some of you had a question on it in the comments. So let's tackle it down. So Hive obviously uh, provides update on, on at the market offering. So at the market offering and the grid options and restricted share units to an officer at the company. So they're providing an update on this. Uh, pursuant to the ATM equity program as required pursuant to national instrument 44102 shelf, uh, shelf distributions and the policies of the TSX Venture Exchange, the company announced that during its second quarter ended September 30th, 2021, they have issued an aggregate of 4,980,600 shares. Uh, proceeds from that came in Canadian dollars of 19,161,593. The ATM shares were sold at prevailing market prices for an average price per ATM share of Canadian 385. For that, they also paid um, the ATM equity program uh, 457,000 US dollars for obviously doing this. Uh, pursuant to the to the EDA, the company may from time to time sell up to 100 million of common shares in the capital in the capital of the company. The company intends to use the proceeds from the ATM for general corporate purposes, working capital requirements, funding ongoing operations, uh, to repay indebtedness outstanding from time to time, to complete future acquisitions, or for other corporate purposes. So this is obviously, uh, we knew about this back in, when was this, that they provided this, uh, January 27th, 21. Um, so this was based on the shelf prospectus data back on January 27th. So we knew that this was going to be happening from time to time, up to $100 million that they're going to be pulling from this ATM. Um, and then all, we also have the options and RSU grants. So somebody is getting 900,000 incentive stock options for an officer of the company, which invests over 60 months. And then we also have somebody getting 40,000 shares of restricted uh, shares that best over 12 months. Uh, they didn't provide who's getting what. So um, that's obviously fine. You know, most companies do this. That's not a big deal. This is obviously not a big deal either, in my opinion. Um, you know, part of their HODL strategy is to hold as much Bitcoin as they can. And the way that they're funding their operations is by doing this kind of stuff. Um, obviously, it lowers shareholder equity a little bit because they are diluting the shares that it's outstanding out there but it's you can't get away from it um, you either sell your coins or you do this type, type of things in order to fund your operations right you need to pay your people you need to pay taxes you need to pay other things you need to pay electricity and this is one way of them funding all of this so I don't think it's a big deal at all um, I'm not surprised by it they gotta do it uh, I think if they started selling their Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings right now, I think people will be all in an uproar, uh, you know, running after them with pitchforks right now, especially since we're all believing that Bitcoin's gonna go up in price to maybe $100,000, $200,000 in the next couple of months with this bull run that we're having in Q4, possibly into Q1 of 2022. So not a big deal in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you guys think this is obviously bad or good. Um, I'm neutral on it. Uh, we'll just have to see how well they utilize the cash that they're pulling out and, uh, We'll take a look at their, it's going to be actually their Q2 report, right? Q2 for uh, September, August, and July. So we'll see how that comes out. Hopefully within the next four weeks, we'll see how fast they can produce that. So that's it. Just a quick update on this. Uh, nothing else. I couldn't find anything else from uh, Frank on this, uh, any tweets or anything like that. So we'll leave it at where it's at. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.